Hello and welcome to another episode. So in this one I'm going to be showing you how to use a clothing pin to train a young fruit tree branch. This has to be pretty young because obviously as they get older the branch is going to get too thick for this to really work. But on your freshly bought fruit trees or even a younger branch this works perfectly. You can. I'm going to demonstrate this on a pear tree because they tend to be very apically dominant. But you can use this on any type of tree that you feel like you want to bend down a branch to put it in a better position. Alternatively, um, you could also prune them, of course. However, on this pear tree, uh, some of the branches that I'm working on, they're actually individual varieties, because this is a multi-grafted pear. So I really don't have that option. So I'm gonna be using these clothing pins instead. I'll show you a clip now of this pear tree before it had these clothing pins attached to them. And as you can see, all the branches are growing straight up. And some of these branches, you want them to be branches and not main leaders. And as it sits, all of these branches will be competing to be the main trunk, the main leader, the central leader of the tree. You don't want that. If you push them down, that'll tell the tree to be more of a branch rather than the leader. So with that said, let's go take a look at the tree itself now. Suddenly started to rain with a mix of snow. So I might have to be a little quick. But I'm going to take this branch right here. So you can see it's supple right now. So all you would do is take this end here, clip that on, and then very gently, I cannot even stress this enough, take your time doing this because you do not want to end up just breaking the branch. I mean, obviously that's worse off than where you started, but just like that, you can see it pushes it out and puts it in a better position. This video isn't about pruning necessarily, but I do have to prune one of the branches off, so I figured I might as well show you that as well. So here you can see I've got two central leaders here. You don't want there to be two, you just want there to be one, because these are going to be competing with one another. So I feel like the one to the right has follows the trunk line better. And it gives this left one here a little bit more space. So if I take this middle one out and I push this side one over to be more horizontal, then I fi think that'll fix my issues in the center there. So first things first, I'm gonna prune out that center the center of the three branches here, the central leader. Reduce it down to just one. Now, when you're going to make a pruning cut, you can see a little bit of swelling. It starts just right here, where the branch meets the main trunk. And that's where you're gonna to wanna to cut it. Leave with that swelling, but take it all the way down to the base with leave, while leaving that swelling there. So one, two, three. And I didn't cut it all the way through. <laughs> so there it goes. Now I have space to push this branch over. So let's do that next. Actually, before we go on, to the last clip I'm attaching. There's also this bud here that's shooting straight up in a horizontal branch. So that's another one you would want to remove. So I'm just gonna come in and remove that as well. Just like that. Now we're gonna go attach that last clip. So I can only move it a little bit, but I'm gonna try. Attach it right there. Try to get it as low as I can go. Alright, so that's not too bad. We'll leave it like that for the first year and then see how it goes. Make adjustments next year. 
So you can see now with a little bit of pruning, but mostly using the pins. These guys are in a much better shape now. More horizontal. That will suppress the hormones that make them the main leader and just sends those hormones into the actual central leader there. Perfect. So I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you try this yourself. It's very inexpensive, it's very easy to do, and it's also very effective. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Tot de volgende keer.